So now, as I was uh, explaining the properties or the uh, basic terms of the light, that is ray and beam. So the next concept, what we have to study is the reflection of light. So students, from here, actually the syllabus will start and it is very important now. Uh, what exactly is reflection? Karnada Vedanti Vadana Bimba, Pratipimba Anta Karitula Odava Bouncing of light back to the same medium when it strikes any shining surface of the object. I repeat, bouncing of light back to the same medium when it strikes shining surface of any object, it is called as reflection. Okay, we use the reflection or the word reflection in uh, daily life, right? So we will uh, use a lot of times that is the reflection of light. So it is a simple definition. So if there is one medium when it, the light goes and hit a shining surface or an obstacle and, and it uh, gets bounced back to the same medium. So that is known as reflection. Okay. So bouncing of light to the same medium as it strikes the shining surface of any object is called reflection. Now in this uh, medium you know that I, I have used the word medium. Why? Because light also requires medium of transmission. So in this medium we have two types, one is regular medium and irregular medium. As you can see in the diagram. So for the regular medium I can give an example of a plane mirror. The mirror what uh, we use in homes, okay, that is a plane mirror. Whenever the light rays, you can see the light rays being incident on the surface of the plane mirror. Now whatever the lines that I have drawn, okay, here those protruded lines okay these lines are non reflecting surface above which we have a smooth surface or the shining surface which is reflecting on which these incident rays incident rays means the rays which are falling on that shining surface you can observe these incident rays how they are they are with proper orientation proper orientation means they are aligned properly which means they are parallel and also observe the reflected rays even they are properly aligned which means even they are parallel so both the incident rays and the reflected rays are parallel which means they have a proper orientation why? because of the property of this plane mirror which is a regular medium so that is a regular medium Okay. next comes the irregular medium as you can see in the diagram the surface is irregular whenever you have the surface which is irregular you will have the improper orientation or there is no proper orientation right just for an example if the road is very smooth without any potholes without any road breakers the vehicles will go very smoothly if there are any potholes or if there are any road breakers okay so what we'll do every now and then we need to apply the brakes okay and the road is uneven we will also travel very haphazardly so and it, that it can be given as an example for this okay where we have a plane mirror the incident rays and reflected rays will have a proper orientation in this irregular medium where the medium itself is irregular or the surface itself is irregular so we have there is no proper orientation or there is improper orientation so these are the two types of mediums so here mainly we will deal with this that is regular medium or we will go with the plane mirrors and other various types of mirrors in the syllabus now the very thing which is very important from where the reflection has to happen it should obey certain rules or what we can call it as laws so laws of reflection of light so in this laws of reflection of light as you can see in the board there are two laws okay so from the diagram only from this diagram only the two laws will come now how now you have a plane surface similar to this we have a plane surface or a regular surface as i told you we use regular surface only and there is for the explanation sake we have you have one incident ray and of course it is reflected black but how we can have this the concept is by drawing a normal in this diagram you can see normal that is n o or o n is the normal what is normal a normal is a line which is drawn perpendicular to the 
regular surface or the plane surface you can see this normal which is perpendicular means it is having an angle of 90 degree or it is making an angle of 90 degree with the surface AOB after drawing the normal you make one of the rays that is the, that is the incident rays falling on the normal at some point at point O with some angle why because you have one ray that is ON you have one more incident ray coming means there has to be one angle so that angle is I that I means what incidence angle of incidence now as per the definition of reflection the ray, the ray will get reflected back to the same medium from where it got originated now that angle with respect to normal is R that is small r that is angle of reflection so with all these things we formulate two laws that is the laws of reflection of light the first law is incident ray you can see this incident ray reflected ray and normal at the point of incidence at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane here what do we mean by same plane I'll just give a simple example. Now this is the board, right? You have a board. Now this is what? With respect to this wall, you can see here this board is mounted vertically, which means this plane is vertical plane. In this vertical plane only, you have incident ray, you have normal, you have reflected ray, all are in the same plane. Now when you write, copy down the same thing in your notebook, how will you hold the notebook? Like this, right? You will hold the notebook like this. Now this notebook, when you are placing it on the desk, that is what horizontal plane. In horizontal plane also or in your book also, you are drawing the same diagram. So in your plane, that is whatever you are writing, that is on the horizontal plane, that is on your book, the same thing, incident ray, normal and reflected ray, all are in the same plane. Okay, so that is the meaning of it. So incident ray, reflected ray, normal at the point of incidence. Point of incidence means go. All lie in the same plane. So that is first law. Second law, angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. That should be the second law. You can see here, whatever the incident ray is making an angle with the normal, that is I. And whatever the reflected ray is making an angle with the normal R, both angles should be equal. That is the second law. Very important. Angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Now only if the first law is proper, you can expect the second law. Right? Because whenever they are not in the same plane, means you cannot go for the second law. So the first and the second what? These are the two important laws or the second law will come only when there is the proper or we can have the first law that is incident ray, reflected ray, normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane then you can expect angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Thank you.